What's up, everybody? This is Jay the Wander with Oakland Latinos United, Oakland Latinos Unidos, the voice of the Latino community in the Bay Area, California, Oakland, and beyond. We're over here in the Murder Doves in the 20s, over here on, Mur on Miller Ave and East 15th, where Occupy Oakland and various other activist organizations have taken over the old Emiliano Zapata Street Academy on the corner of Miller and East 15th, and they want to reclaim it as the Victor Martinez People's Library or Biblioteca de la Gente Popular. And uh, this, when I was a kid, this used to be the, the Emiliano Zapata Street Academy High School. I'm pretty sure a lot of you that grew up in Oakland remember that. They took over the building today and they're turning it into a people's library and they're cleaning up the building. Obviously because it's been abandoned for almost 20 years, since about 88 or 89. And uh, yeah, this is a beautiful thing that they're taking this over and reclaiming it for the community, for the raza, for, the, for everybody who lives here in this neighborhood. Let me talk to one of the people here cleaning. Somebody I know, I see him around hey, everywhere. Jay the Wander. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, uh, w wanna tell people your name? You don't have to, but if you want to. Um, I am TJ. Uh-huh. Um, <coughs> Who are you with? What organization? Uh, I'm with myself. I'm with all the people here right now. Supporter of Occupy Oakland, right? Uh-huh. I'm a supporter, supporter of Occupy Oakland, and uh, I'm a supporter of this. So what do you think of this takeover of this building, or occupation of this building? I think it's a really good start. I think, you know, this has been a band, you know, it's been neglected by the city for, for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, if it can be used for something, if they, you know, can be turned to something that the community can use, you know, that they can actually run themselves, you know, and have a voice, you know, and have, have, have power, in, then this is definitely a positive thing. Oh, yeah. And I mean, uh, turning into a people's library is, is really a good step. And just go beyond the library, maybe we turn it into a community center for the people as well. You know, for the youth in this neighborhood that don't, like I was telling you earlier, you know, a lot of negativity in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, we need more positive things. Some of the hardest workers today have been some, some kids from the neighborhood. From the neighborhood, that's right. I mean, I grew up in this neighborhood and, you know, I was telling you all the stories of what I remember how it was here before. And, you know, how does that make you feel? What I explained to you earlier that this was the Emiliano Zapata Street Academy back in the 80s and 70s and it was created during the Chicano movement which was obviously a radical movement to educate and empower Chicanos and Latinos. How does that make you feel that now we're occupying it in a new movement with a similar uh, style? I think it's good as long as, as, long as you know, the people who you know, have been in this neighborhood for a long time and have a safe <laughs> neighborhood and you know, people who live around here as long as they feel like it's theirs. Not like you know, it's, it's outsiders coming in or and occupy. Service. Yeah, you know, as long as people feel like it's theirs and they're a part of it, and it's you know, it's their project. You know, then, then I think this is that makes me feel really good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's um, an organic takeover, if you could say, you know. People taking it over, and, you know, you, I mean, this is a beautiful building if you think about it. The architecture is nice. You know, and it used to be a library for a lot of years, what they say. I don't know the history before Street Academy, but it probably was a library. But I'm going to walk around and show people around. Thanks for talking, bro. <coughs> yeah, so you see over here, they got books. I actually donated some books myself. They got more books over here. They're giving out food right now. Got posters over here. Here's the other side of it. Crazy that this building was abandoned for 20 years or more. But some occupiers, I guess Occupy Oakland and various other organizations have took over the building and turned it into a community library, which is cool. Really cool. Go outside and check out what's going on outside. <coughs> so those of you who grew up in the neighborhood remember when this used to be the Street Academy back in the days right here on the corner of Miller and East 15th. So they turned it into Biblioteca Popular Victor Martinez, People's Library. You know, two people 
walked up to me, uh, one Chinese, one Mexican, and you know what they say to me? Okay, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, a lot of poverty in this neighborhood, bro. We got newspapers and literature over here for the people. So yeah, they took over the building and they're reclaiming it as a people's library. I think it's an awesome idea. It's cool. Shit, I, I'm not against it. You know, in this community, obviously, I grew up around here. I remember this community having a lot of gangs, a lot of drug activity. You know, a lot of problems used to happen here. A lot of gangs, North Daniels and, and all that stuff going, that was going on back in the days. They're over here, they're building something. I think a community garden back here. So they're making a community garden back here. <laughs> Part of the people. Hey Peter, you want to talk? I'm making a video right now. <laughs> You're shy? You don't want to talk about about this? Alright, this is a friend of mine. I see him everywhere at Occupy Oakland and all over Oakland. So what do you think of this takeover of this building? Great idea. There's all kinds of resources that are just <coughs> have been abandoned here in East Oakland. Yeah. The teacher down the street and the little school that I worked at just abandoned down the street. They yeah. Abandoned all the adult schools here. I used to teach ESL and stuff in this community. And I think it's great that people are uh, reappropriating these resources for their own needs. Oh yeah. And uh, do you you remember when this was Street Academy or no? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, like I was telling people earlier, this was Street Academy till about 88, 89, and it was, it's been abandoned ever since from what I know. Some people say that it was a place for like convicts or something like that, right? Uh, that's what I heard. I'm not sure though. I don't know. I, I heard I, that too. I, I, I don't know. It might have been uh, some social service run out of here. Or yeah, but other than that, as far back as I could tell you growing up in this neighborhood, I remember this was abandoned for years, covered in graffiti and... You know, but it's actually in really good shape inside, yeah. comparing how long yeah. it's been abandoned. Well, apparently it's um, a Carnegie donated library from 100, about 100 years ago. Yeah. The Melrose Library is the exact same Stru type. Oh, okay. And the Golden Gate Library in North Oakland is the same Carnegie. They donated four of them, and then this one just got abandoned at some point. Yeah. I think it might have got abandoned in the very early 70s, probably, because I think it became Emiliano Zapata High School in 73, from what I know. So yeah, so like I said, it's been here since 89 and it got abandoned and it's been abandoned since that. So right. yeah, I think it's good that they took it over and did something with it. Because like I was telling you, this community has a lot of problems and it's had a lot of problems over the years. Yeah, it's so, like the kids really like it. Oh yeah, I see a lot of little kids here playing and having a, having a ball, it looks like. Yeah. I know if I was a little kid, I'd be having fun. Yeah, hey, thanks for talking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so... You can see we're here at the old, for those of you who grew up in East Oakland or in this neighborhood, we're at the old Emiliano Zapata Street Academy. And uh, Occupy Oakland and various organizations took over the building and want to create a people's library. And uh, fuck, more power to them. I have nothing against it. It's all good. I'm just saying incorporate more people for the community to come here and help out for sure. Because we need it. We need something positive here. But yeah, that's uh, all I'm going to do for right now. I just wanted to show you, everybody here, what's going on with this building, what happened here today. Pretty cool thing. It's a step in the right direction for sure. This is Jay the Wanderer signing off.